What's goody? What's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? We getting ready for that Fire Emblem hype. I know a bunch of people are already playing the game right now. They got their normal editions. They got their special editions. Some people got multiple special editions. However you want to play Fire Emblem, bro. Doesn't matter, bro. As long as you play it. In my opinion, at least. Uh... I can't wait, bro. I got a copy of the Fire Emblem Seasons of Warfare Edition. It's... Ah, bro. It looks so good. Hold on. Let me go to the live scene, cuz. <laughs> Co! Reed! What's up, D-Rail? What's up, Julio? What's up, Jay? Time to go golden, cuz. Was goody. Let me go to the live scene. Hey, what's up, everybody? How are y'all doing? Fire Emblem Three Houses, bro. It is right here. Let me, let me make that shit more bigger, okay? Is that is that even the best way to say it? It's right. <laughs> All right, I know it looks kind of fucked up. Hold on, let me let me fix that shit. <laughs> what's up, everybody? So an extreme close up that nobody asked for, but I'm sorry. You gotta see the box. It's right here. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Seasons of War uh, Warfare Edition includes the game, the steel book, the art book, the sound selection CD, the 2020 calendar, bro. It looks so awesome, man. I can't wait. Babyface George is back. <laughs> uh, what's up, DRL? Hey, what's up, TG? How are you doing, bro? Corey. Uh. So, unfortunately, I do have to open this. I don't have an extra copy of Fire Emblem, but you gotta make some sacrifices. Ooh, I'm trying to be as careful as possible, cuz. Ooh, let's go, bro. Let's go. Oh, shit. Bro, look at this. Hey, where's the sexy beard? Oh, the sexy beard took a took a break because it's hot as fuck. The sexy beard's coming back in fall. No, no beard. Whose man is this? <laughs> what's up? What's up, Prez? What's up, Fire Blast? Check your mailbox, bro. There's an app for the, <laughs> there's an application for the respective club since you shaved your beard. Damn, bro, I got like 20 applications now, cuz. But oh, that looks clean as fuck. Yeah, bro, like this, the art of Fire Emblem. It's like in a in shrink wrap or something. Let me see the book, huh? It looks so nice, bro. Might as well go all in, cuz. We doing this, cuz. No, don't open. <laughs> I'm sorry, TG. Woo! Let's go! Oh, snap! Characters, cuz. Look at the characters, bro. Oh, look at the concept bar for Byleth. A female Byleth, bro. Whoever that chick is, I haven't played the game yet. The Black Eagles. Hey, what's up? What's up, uh, kitty? Adult Edelgard? I know Fire Blast is jerking off right now. I'm sorry, Fire Blast. She is not a trap. Here's some other dudes. Uh, Herbert, apparently. Good night, you Fire Emblem Switch bitches. Oh, what's up, Shinobu? <laughs> oh, what's up, William? L Linhart? She's... Damn. Casper, bro. Legit, a white dude named Unmod him. Oh, what's up, Daniel? Just pop in and say hi. My grand died and I'm going to the funeral. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Daniel. Oh, geez. I apologize, bro. My condolences, my thoughts and prayers to you and your family, Daniel. Uh, I hope, um... I hope, uh... You're just there for your family, bro. Ban the kitty. Facts, bro. 
Dimitri, cuz. Hey, we gotta play that song again, bro. I'm not done uh, unboxing this shit, cuz. What are you doing? But yeah, it's just the uh, art book, bro. Just Dimitri. Just a quick flip, cuz I'll be here forever. <laughs> if I, uh. <laughs> if I'm here. Just oh, uh, unboxing it, cuz. Oh, who's this, bro? Who the fuck is this? Do we fight him early on? What the fuck? <laughs> Enemies. Oh, bro. Yeah, bro. It's just awesome. Um... Woo! Let's go! Here. This is the sound CD. Yeah, I'm so. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel, for coming to the stream and like I said I'm so sorry take care of yourself exactly bye Daniel oh what's this oh here's the 2020 calendar cuz hey female Byleth is on January that's awesome bro George is committing a crime by opening up this special edition. Oh, what's up, Jolteon? <laughs> oh my god. That's cool, bro. Female Violet is, uh, is uh, the first month. That's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, man. Oh, I don't know who this is. What's up, bro? Oh, here, here's Claude, right here, number 11, cuz. No more beard? <laughs> no, no more. Not, not for right now, it's too hot for a beard, cuz. And finally, we have the steel uh, bookcase. Look at that. It's so shiny and shit. Oh, that's the inside. That's the game cart right there. Let's go put it in, cuz. There it is, baby! Jolteon says, nice. I heard that there's an update, so let me go and update that right now. Hopefully it's not too long. Play it, play it. I am playing it, bro. This game is awesome, bro. I can't wait. Bro, this is... You know what's crazy? This special edition is way better than the Kingdom Hearts 3 one. This... This a uh, this $100 special edition beats out... What was, uh, uh... Kingdom Hearts? $200? This is way better. This is such a better... Uh, much better special edition than Kingdom Hearts 3. Square Enix did Kingdom Hearts dirty, bro. Nintendo did well, did right by this one. Nintendo did right by Fire Emblem, bro. Alright, uh, let me just lower the music all professional-like. Hey, Oh, um, before I start... <laughs> wow, I just got a turtle over a game. What? <laughs> uh, by the way, let me um, read out some quick shout-outs before I start, and maybe I should fix the fucking thing first all right oh whoops that's hella small okay there we go uh i want to give quick shout outs uh thank you so much to prez and sora for liking and chewing the stream uh tg lucina uh, Shinobu, Julio, uh, Triforce J, Derail for liking and retweeting the stream. Thank you so much to everybody who's supporting me, who fucking stuck around this long <laughs> throughout my YouTube career. Not really much of a career, but let's get it, bro. Fire Emblem Three Houses, bro. I'm, I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not going to claim that I'm the biggest because I know there's people out there that are hella into Fire Emblem, bro. George's PP is hard right now. <laughs> How about fix the, yeah, fix the fucking screen. <laughs> All right, bro. Chill, cuz. Let's go. Exactly, bro. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's go. Press any button. Can everybody hear the game all right, bro? Is it game volume light? Extras, Nintendo eShop, new game. All right, let's go normal, cuz. And let's go classic, cuz. Every decision counts. Connect to the network and play online. Uh, I don't, I don't know what the online is, but fuck it. Preparing to establish a connection. Oh, that's a kind of a cool loading screen. I like that. <laughs> like old school Fire Emblem sprites at the bottom. That's that's pretty dope. Spooky music? Yeah. Who the fuck said that shit? Almost like Haunted Mansion. No, I don't hear it. Oh, shit! Opening cutscene, cuz. Oh, oh, I think they showed us this at the uh, E3 trailer, but it was cut up into different parts, though. Oh, shit. That dude, hella looks like a final boss. No filthy casual stream here. <laughs> we going classic, bro. Oh, shit, guys. Lady Saros. Oh, that's Lady Saros. Bro, he kind of reminds me of the final boss from Shadows of Valencia. Oh, shit, the stare down, bro. No words exchanged, just fucking just, just do it. Throw hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, she got kind of a crazy look in her eye. This is Fanta? <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, that clash though! Oh, fuck! Yeah, this art, this animation's really good. Jesus. Oh, damn, she running up! Oh, she threw hands! Oh, and feet! Oh. Tell me, Nemesis, do Nemesis. you recall the Red Canyon? Red Canyon? Die. Oh, what? Die! Oh, shit! You took <laughs> everything that I love! Damn, is he Thanos, bro? And this is Scarlet Witch? Damn, did you see that hit? It looks like a pool of blood. Damn! Co-rib! God damn! <laughs> damn! He's gone now, mother. Damn, look at her head. fingers, bro. Just soaked with blood. Damn, bro, look at how much blood there is. The English dub is killing me. <laughs> Dang, if she has a boyfriend, uh, if she has a boyfriend, his boyfriend might be dead. I've seen her before in trailers. What could have brought you here? What's up? <sighs> I wonder how you got in here. The lolly cuz is uh, ruined black cat. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. 
If you listen, if you listen close, you can hear the, the that chant. Like, damn. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. I don't know. I might get select form. Female bilith, male bilith. All right, for my first playthrough, bro, uh, I'm gonna go male bilith. Second playthrough for sure, I'm gonna go female. Uh, Fire blasters, kitties, lollies, the FBI is watching you. That that's how I felt, bro. Since I don't feel comfortable that Fire Blast is in the chat because this lolly is like, hey, come to me. I'm like, bro, I don't want to go to jail. That's just me though. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to fucking girl cut okay? to this Triforce. Now I'm gonna go dude, bro. Bro, we gotta get the harem going, Jay. We have to, cuz. Big facts, they got my I, my internet service provider on lockdown. <laughs> Jesus, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty said that like he's done that. He's, that's happened to him before. <laughs> uh, is this form correct? Yeah. But Jay, Jay said, uh, go female. Bro, we gotta get the harem, cuz. Mm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Wow, if you get the FBI Who open anyway? open up, I'm gonna piss myself. I'm a ghost, I'm a demon, I'm a mortal. Demon? Guess I'm a demon. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Oh damn bro, she knew immediately. She was just trying to see if we were lying bro. All right, I'm a ghost. Do not deceive. <laughs> she said well this. Then why even mind. give me a choice? Oh my god, I'm a mortal then. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Byleth is the canon name. Uh. Oh shit. How do you? Oh yeah, beep. I'm gonna change it to George. Is George correct? Uh, actually, you know what? I kind of want the cannon name for the first playthrough. I kind of want a cannon. Yeah, it's Violet. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. Still George. <laughs> George Jolteon wants me to put George. And I don't know. I kind of want to put the cannon name. He's like, no. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Why do I got to answer all these questions? Guardian moon? Uh, I guess seven. That's mine. July. Oh, damn! The blue sea moon? Korea! Cootie coo! <laughs> I went Byleth as well, says TG. Hey, yeah, that's. Yeah, T I kind of went that same way with the other Fire Emblem games. Great, another Tiki, says William. <laughs> uh, July 6th. This is my birthday. The blue sea moon, cause Korean. I have to, cause this might is day six of month seven. Blue sea moon, correct? Yes. Dero wow, said Korean. Nice choice, cause we share our that's the birth. only moon, cause Korean. <laughs> Fireball said Korean. Wonders never cease. It seems we share our, our day of birth. How strange. What? I'm assuming she says that no matter what you pick, so that's weird. Hmm. It all feels so familiar. I went with Byleth as well. So this five last, yeah. Yet another nap. It is almost time to begin. Uh, Shinobu says, "Yeah, she does." Oh, okay. She flirting says Jolteon. Sleeping Beauty moment. She does remind me of Tiki, to be honest. I think William William's kind of right. Hey, she time to wake up. Oh, what's up, Gerald? Who are you? Boo, male Byleth. <laughs> Prez. Were you having that dream again? I was dreaming about. <laughs> I was dreaming about a young girl. <laughs> You've described her to me before. 
I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. Oh, okay, so he has a serious answer, all right. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for Mine was thoughts. Great Moon Tree, I think. Hey, what's up, um... Grab back your fen. I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your uh, name. Um, welcome to the stream. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate it. It says no Yuri this, no Yuri rub this time. <laughs> uh, what's up, bro? Hello, uh, I think you are a pervert. Um, but yeah, thank you for checking out the stream. I appreciate it. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, All time right. to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting Oh, nice, I got some affinity with him. I meant he thinks. Oh, he thinks you are a pervert. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. Oh, shit. What's happened? Uh, DRL says, my birth month in this game is February is the Pegasus moon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Please forgive our intrusion. Oh, damn, we they're already here? The situation not dire. Dimitri. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Yo, this game doesn't look bad, bro. Um, especially on my 4K TV. It looks pretty good. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. Not sponsored by Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll, I, I'll probably get my video taken down just because I have that Kingdom Hearts shit. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Oh. Alright, let's go. Uh, save data. Save my progress. A skirmish at dawn, prologue, an inevitable encounter. Am I the only one commenting? <laughs> uh, everybody else is playing the game, also. You know. Let's take care. Oh, of here's the battle music, cuz I didn't know when this played. I'm so glad it plays early on. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Movement. Select a unit, then move next to the, to an enemy. While your unit is next to an enemy, the command will, window will open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. All right, for sure. Stay focused. Oh shit! Stay focused. Let's go, cuz. Sucks. Only five save slots. Yeah, it's better than um the older uh Awakening and Fates. I think those only had three. I think. Do I have any combat arts? Wrath Strike. Any items? Iron Sword and Vulnerary. Uh, I'll just do a regular attack. Let's go. Why not? Oh! That seamless transition, though. It's good enough, though. A weapon will break when repeated use brings its durability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might, MT, and hit rate will be reduced, and enemies will make follow-up attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons. You cannot repair them mid-battle. Okay, so you can repair them, though. That's good to know. I'll cut through. Let's go with Dimitri. Kari! Over already. I'm the only one without a Nintendo Switch, though. It's good enough, though, says TG. Uh, Jolteon, I mean, Switches... I mean, I if you're gonna get one, I'd wait until the revision for the normal Switch, because that has better battery life, but... Yeah, you should get one, at least, you know, save up some money, bro. 
Use the battle menu to create bookmark saves. View tutorial guides and more. To access it, press the A button when the cursor is on a space without, without an active unit. Once all of your units take action, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. You can end the player phase early by selecting end from the battle menu. Sure, alright. Alright, let's use Claude. Combat, bows. Bows can attack from a long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. Okay, that's good to know. Um, they are highly effective against flyers like Pegasus Knights and Wyvern Riders. Ready and willing. Alright. Well, let's move. I will prevail. I guess move her up. Uh, wait. Oh. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling. Can you do a me. live stream of Fortnite? Uh, I have in the past. <laughs> I have done live streams of Fortnite. Um. I mean, we're usually trash, but it, I mean, it'd be funny to watch. So maybe, Jolteon. Uh, I'm just gonna call you Fen. Fen says LOL. Uh, but Jolteon says I missed it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was a while ago though. That's cool, you can talk to your comrades in mid-battle. Like, just by, them, by itself. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take Fort who? <laughs> says the D-Rail. Facts, bro. Terrain effects. T certain terrain will have effects on the unit on the unit occupying it. Forest, for instance, raises a unit's evasion and defense. Move your units to an advantageous terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. Mm. Oh, you can still do this. Nice. So you can see uh, who they're gonna attack. All right. Uh, Edelgard. Let's go up there. Wait. Put you here. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Terrain types. Forests are not the only terrain type you will encounter. Uh, keep an eye out for others, such as thickets and heel tiles. Cool. You can see the effects on terrain by placing your cursor over it. Press the X button on an empty space to toggle terrain information and unit icons. I'll put Claude right there. And you know what? Byla is about to tank this shit. Let's go, Byla. Oh, damn! Yeah. They went after Dimitri. Yeah. Dimitri's like, cool, Rhea. Which house are you choosing? Uh, I'm leaning a lot towards Golden Deer right now. Man, because you need to put ED in your name as I am Iron Man. <laughs> what? This is a fine opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. Combat arts. Combat arts are powerful techniques that are that use more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow for follow-up attacks. Okay, so there's a downside to that. Units learn new combat arts when their weapon skills uh, level up. Uh, there are no combat arts for reason or faith. Those skills grant magic instead. All right. Let's go, Claude. Combat. Curve shot. I'm gonna hit the person behind. Oh, that special though. Ah. Ooh, good shit, bro. Nice. Good shit. Well, how was that? Attack. No hesitation. Oh, no hesitation. Oh, damn, that critical though. A chance to grow. Uh, combat arts needed for spe spell martial arts. Your support is appreciated. I think I'll keep a. Uh... I'll keep Dimitri there. I'll go out there. Edelgar. He's like, Kobe. Oh damn, Edelgar with the. 
Oh! <laughs> Your defeat was inevitable. Jesus. Using items. Select the items option to change your equipped items or to use uh, your equipped weapon or to use items such as Vulnerary, which restores your unit's hit points. Alright. Oh, there are more up here. Oh, I can change the camera angle too. Okay. I'll move you up here. Edelgard, I'll move you over here. Byleth. Right here, Pez. And Claude. Put you right here. Damn! Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Calm down, bro. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Linked attacks. When you attack an enemy, there is also that is also an attack range of one or more of your other units who will trigger a linked attack. During linked attacks, you, you, your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal. Linked attacks between certain units will also raise might. Good use of linked attacks is key to defeating powerful enemies. Linked attacks will also build support among the units involved. Oh, that's great! An item uh, icon on an enemy indicates that you will get the item that is highlighted green in the units to details display when you defeat them. That's pretty dope. Feels like I'm watching chess shit. Hey, you with the blank stare! Out of my way! Oh shit, you went for me! Oh man! Oh you missed! What's up? Oh I missed too. Wow, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> At least I got some. Ooh, took six. Wow, sixteen, good shit. Hey, level up! Damn, that's a good level up. Nice play. Dimitri. Ooh, that 13 though. Damn, Gerald. Not my first. Fight. Damn, he's level 35. Holy shit. Wow, looks like he had a bad sword. Hit. Yeah. Ah, right, it's my turn. Oh, hold up. Let me do a combat art. Shit. Get dude who missed. Yeah, I will run. Hopefully this sucks. Ooh. Oh my god! I cannot believe he missed. Wow. You are trash, sir. Ah, oh, he's gonna be left with one? Bullshit. Can I kill you where you stand? Nah, because. It's okay. Oh my god, his sword is made out of garbage. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do combat arts, curve shot. Please hit. Oh, right in the bro, he got shot. He got shot in the dick. Damn, McCloud's not fucking around. He got level two. Good. Expected as much. Not bad. Nice. He got, he got an iron axe. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. 
You shot his dick off. <laughs> Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Am I? <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. The Beginning? Hmm. Sothis. Yes. That is it. My name is Sophis. Matt, a little girl, you have heard that man, that men need to protect women. And I am also called the beginning. But who once called me that? Sophis. What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. Okay. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? I mean, I didn't say that. You Chloe, said that. That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? Damn, why do you gotta... I'm less than a child. <laughs> Correct, you understand. Damn, he's <laughs> less than a child. You threw oh. yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Okay, so she has time powers then. Thank you. Damn, he does like a little bow. There and now, is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Hmm. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. A little less than a child. <laughs> However did I manage that? Uh, what will happen when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh, and you will surely meet your end. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> Damn, How even Violet. How you to drag me into this? I was like, oh shit. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time. Keep time frozen until I'm safe. I'll just stay here and wait to die. Damn. Uh, turn back the hands of time. Of course, I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I heard that there's a mechanic in the game where if you fuck up, you can reverse like a turn or something like that. That's probably what they're trying to introduce right I now. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers. The flames that you within. Seek. Oh, shit. Wow. Hey, over here. Huh? This is so weird. Like three royals just showed up. Hey, just to... did you just? The knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Knights of Saros. Oh, Saros is that lady from the beginning. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after Why them. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Yeah, that was kind of weird, right? The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? Damn. Stage completed. A skirmish at dawn. Six turns. Metal Gore was the MVP. Connecting. Alright. Because plot? <laughs> you facts, d -Row. That's all we needed to know. Thank you. Because motherfucking plot.
Captain Jolt? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Have Don't it? you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man! Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. She and MVP, but she nonsense. almost died. You I'm know what? Your <laughs> that's, also, anymore. that's also true. Though. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? He is a stranger to me. I'm a bandit. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, that's correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? I mean, I guess I have to go. <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Yeah, it's like Papyrus? Mmm, does he? I don't know. I have to see, I have to, I have to uh, oh, listen to him more. It seems your presence is required. Get going. So you're just talking in my head? Damn, that's, that's creepy. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Wow, the Blade Breaker. Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. Okay. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely yeah, got the worst Yeah, why was he a captain? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming because he's really good, bro. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them. Every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Wow, roasted. <laughs> oh, Facts. joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Mm. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. Okay. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Right. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, there. You two sure Okay, so this is where they all trying to like, recruit fight over me now. Just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. Jesus. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. <laughs> but it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Oh, damn, already? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. 
Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Do the boy with the black hair. Damn, wow, you, you picked pretty early. I didn't- I thought we would get to the monastery, then we would choose, but we're actually picking now. Uh, they address the Empire, land of ancient history, that's Edelgard. Holy Kingdom of Fargus, land of noble knights, that's Dimitri. The Lee Sister Alliance, burgeoning League of Nobles, that's, uh, Claude. The boy with the black hair. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. <laughs> All right, that's the enough obligation. with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, <laughs> each of says, Yay. is most unique. Each of them is most unique. Claw. His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Dimitri. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. That's totally not foreshadowing whatsoever. Edelgard. She is a refined young woman, but I feel as though she is always evaluating me. Yes, I thought the same. <sighs> I am so sleepy once again. I may be sleeping. Yeah, that's very interesting. I did not think we would be choosing that fast. Wow. Nice. White clouds. Part one. White clouds. Oh, they say it. Great me. tree moon. Three houses. The game spoiled me, bruh. What do you what do you mean, the William? The icy winds <laughs> of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. Wow, that dot and the burning moment. fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding okay. the start of a new year. Good, good intro. I As like the As they intro. celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Since the darkness lurking? Oh, okay, okay. Land. Yeah, I mean, but we saw the time the skip south, thing, though, William. A region like, long <laughs> held by we kind of know, like, year old dynasty there's a little bit of darkness the empire. Beyond its borders, How far it goes, north, we have no idea. ...is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, Dimitri. a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan <laughs> and these time three skip, mighty bro? powers now <laughs> exist in relative harmony. Here, William. He's like, bro, what time skip, guys? Darkness lurking. That's just like Sonic when he turns into Sonic.exe. Another animated cutscene. That's pretty cool. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Edelgard's very, uh... She's very, uh... Very serious. Cutscenes. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. Very impressive. Oh, they're chanting the theme. That's very cool. I like that. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, damn, dude. Hella mustache, cuz. Of course, her titties are bouncing, and he's looking at her titties. Damn. That voice scared the shit out of me. Ray is here. Ah, 
for some reason I kind of get a, like a I don't know like a I wonder, vibe from her. Did the flow of time bring you here? See, that's what I mean. Like, she's gonna be important, bro. Doctor Finkel, shit, uh, Miss M Mistress Thought. <laughs> Audience it's chamber. been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... To be forced. Her. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. D-Rail says, Rhea reminds me of Emerin from Awakening. She kind of does. She kind of does. Although, honestly, D-Rail, Emerin... When you looked at Emerin... You had like that, like a sense of calm. Like she was really like a calm person. Rhea to me, she, I don't know. There's just a, uh, she's something about her. Like I think there's something deeper with her, you know. But I do agree. Like she kind of reminds me of Admiral as well. Wait, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. Okay. The leader of that ridiculously large <coughs> religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady I like, Rhea. I like Gerald already. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setet. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Setet. Okay. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. Uh, DRL says, true, personality-wise, I can spot the differences. Her appearance, though, is where the similarities lie. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, very, like, revered, in a sense. Like, that's kind of her look, bro. Um. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Ah. So our mother died of illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? We can either be a dick or... Uh, I'll, I'll be cordial. I'll be cordial. A fine name indeed. <laughs> Even though I didn't say it. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Like, there's gotta be a reason why Gerald doesn't like the monastery. Right? Like, where he's like, kinda like, like, I don't, like, don't want to be here as lo longer than I need to be kind of vibe that he has. Like, there has to be a reason, bro. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Okay. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. My services? I must work here? <laughs> as, a, as a servant? <laughs> Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the <laughs> Officers' Academy, Those brats. Right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. What a coincidence. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended oh, you to Lady Rhea. Okay. That's why. So, you must be the new professor. I mean... My, how stern and handsome you are. Manuela. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. I, I just have to cheat. I Do you realize I have no teaching credentials? <laughs> and watch out for Lady Ray. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Why is he saying that shit? 
Watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I wonder how old Violet is supposed to be. Uh, I'm assuming like early 20s, right? Like 21, something like that. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. Hanneman. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Sure. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Damn. It's nice to meet you. Holy shit. You're a physician, you're a, song you're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Okay. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, <laughs> it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Ah, uh, just like the I game. expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you of really not, not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. Great. It's I more fun I suggest you way. try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, <clears throat> but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Great. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... Honestly, I kind of agree on, with Sedtep on this one. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith. They have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea. For now, I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Hmm, interesting. Something about a, something about an in, uh, suspicious individual. Hmm. Wonder who that could be.
And these cutscenes look so good, bro. Oh, hello. Oh, what's up, Quinn? How are you, bro? Thanks for checking out the stream. I appreciate it. It's been a while. Thanks for coming back. That dude looks evil. Jesus. Petra. Dorothea. A. Bernadetta. Dorothea. I'm going to try recruiting her. I'm assuming these are the blue lions. <laughs> yep, you surprised you remembered. Well, I don't have many uh, viewers, so I remember all the ones I have. <laughs> but thanks for coming back, Quinn. I appreciate it. Rhea, damn. I, I don't know, bro. I feel like Rhea, she's, she's up to something. Of course. I don't know what it is. Uh, while exploring the monastery, R stick is to move the camera, plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out. B and Y buttons to dash. That's pretty cool. You are ever unsure on what to do next. Give that red heart headed guy a, a headband so he could be Roy. <laughs> hey, facts, bro. Yep, I'll make sure I have my notifications on. No, it's fine, bro. You know, you don't have to watch if you don't want to, bro. Uh, if you are ever unsure what to do next, look at the left side of the screen. Your current objectives will be displayed there. Cool. Accept the quest from Rhea. Oh, wow. This is so awesome. You know, ever since Fates had that My Castle um, thing where you can, like, roam around and stuff, um, I always wanted, like, a 3D version of that. And we finally have that with three houses. That's awesome. Pretty good run speed, too, and no stamina to slow you down. What's up, Rhea? Your first I assume task. you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Uh, also, the silver-haired kid looks like a young Robin. Fireblast says, Welcome to the Academy, George. Now go start banging waifus. <laughs> Facts, bro. I'm totally going to abuse my teaching powers. Because, like... <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to recruit uh, uh, Dorothea to, uh, to the Golden Deer, bro. I want her. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Sure. Speak to the three house leaders and gather information about the students in each house. The students can be found in the reception hall on the first floor throughout the officer's academy. <laughs> uh, okay. The first floor. Sure. Oh, nice. They played the, the level up jingle. That's cool. Quests are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who can who can give or are involved with quests will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quest you have accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate their status. Icons for uh, for essential quests are red. Nice. So I gotta speak to three house leaders. Be sure to greet everyone. I imagine you were surprised. Sure. First floor. Oh, okay. That's weird. That's, why isn't that on the door? <laughs> the mini map. The mini map um, it, in the upper right hand corner of the screen shows your current location and locations of important people, the direction to quest givers, and more. Zoom or change the map view with the ZR button. That's pretty cool. Wow, this is so awesome, man. The reception hall. Damn, it's big as fuck. 
there's Edelgard. Hi. Yes. Hey there. Spotted okay. Edelgard. Pity. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbaum. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Uh, sure. Why not? Oh, you just learned about the characters. Ah, uh, I want to learn about Dorothea. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. Oh, she's a commoner. Okay. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Yeah, I, I, re I heard- I read that she was a songstress. See, so she's a songstress. Adjacent allies recover up to 10% of their max HP at the start of each turn. Damn! That's a really good ability. A... My go right here. I'm recruiting her for sure. Petra? Petra is also cool. To the west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. That's pretty cool. And let's just do Bernadetta. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric. But she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Okay. That's cool, man. Nice. You must be a new student. No, I'm a teacher, bitch. You can't go past here. Alright. Huh? Yes. Spotted Claude. Officers Academy. What's up, Claude? Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. Von Regan, okay. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, the Lester but don't Alliance. worry too much about all that madness. Okay. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Sure, why not? How about her? Lysithia is the daughter Lysithia. of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. Oh boy. But watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. If you 15, I'm 15, me, baby. I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? What? <laughs> oh, okay. So she's kind of like a Sundari, I guess. Marianne? What about her? Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. Oh, boy. FBI, open up. <laughs> she doesn't interact much with other students. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Okay, so she's the quiet side. Leone? Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a Marianne. <laughs> I guess William likes Marianne. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Well, that's pretty nice. Good character. How about you? He's the second son of a merchant family. Biggest Since facts. Since his brother <laughs> this is really the business, he's training to become a knight. Nice. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Oh, he's one of those. He's one of those who, uh, who go to, like, school or, you know, college just because their parents or their guardians, like, kind of make them. I, I feel the second if you ask me. Uh, Lorenz, uh, I'm good. Um, what about Hilda? Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. 
It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. Wow, Rosie wants to be a knight, but he doesn't want to be a knight. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. <laughs> Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Okay, so she's the lazy type. Okay. Great. Oh, Raphael. He comes from a merchant oh, family, act like but one. his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. <laughs> Hilda? Oh, Jolteon, you like Hilda? Oh, pretty good. That's so... Uh... Oh. There's, uh, Dimitri. Hello. <laughs> William said, who? Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. Okay. I am Dimitri Alexandra Big Blake, fat and juicy Crown Prince facts. of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Let's see who we got. Uh... Mercedes? I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Okay. So just a general nice person. Nice. Okay. And now... Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she calls the explosion Hilda? in the kitchen. Mercedes? <laughs> Damn. Just changed sides immediately. What about Ingrid? Ingrid is Count oh. Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. Okay. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Yeah, bro, facts. Okay, Hilda's cool. Us. Sylvain. Sylvain is the heir Sylvain. to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, he fights for his friends? Well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> Skirt chaser. Oh so to speak. shit, cuz he goes Pardon for that pussy baby. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. He just keeps trying to tell you, Dimitri, like, bro, I just can't help it, cuz. I just need to bang right now, cuz. Sylvain, Sylvain's a real one, though. I might, I might have to recruit him too. He's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Ash. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Cool. Uh, Felix, I guess. Felix Man, he is wants the heir that to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He looks like he'll betray me later. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Ash Ketchum, get it? What about him? Dudu was born Dudu. in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Okay. I appreciate your effort. Nice, we did our first quest. Got an iron sword, a vulnerary, and five hundred gold. I suppose I should return to Rhea. Uh, continue exploring, I guess. I kind of want to see everything. There's just a hell of students just... What? Oh, great. Can't go past there. Yes. A moment, please. <coughs> ah. Hi. Hey there. Hmm. Reception hall. Uh -huh. I mean, I guess I can't really go anywhere else, so I got- I might as well fucking go back to Rhea. Where did I go? Pardon me. Huh? 
The graphics, boy. Huh? Okay. Oh. That's uh. There we go. A moment, please. Up here. Second floor. Audience chamber. Sure, why not? I can't really do anything else. George, get lost and get lost and found his way in like a minute. The academy <laughs> thus far. I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. You kind of worded that weird, <laughs> Rhea. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three. Okay, so students. now we get to make a decision. All right. I must note that I am personally against entrusting <clears throat> someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. That small beard. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuel <coughs> and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Which house will I choose? Find out next time! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, choose Mercedes. Uh, I'm gonna go Golden Deer. You, Jolteon, you can recruit other people from other houses regardless of what house you pick. So, let's say if you go Golden Deer, but you want Mercedes, you can still get Mercedes, or you can get Dorothea, you can get uh, Bernadetta, you know, stuff like that. So, if you want somebody specifically, you can still get them. Jotian said, man, Qu uh, Quinn says red, ah, oh, bro. I think I'm gonna go Golden Deer, bro. A house for students from the Leicester Alliance. As per regional tradition, many are skilled archers. Hilda. <laughs> yeah, Hilda's uh, in Hilda's in Golden Deer, so. Fuck so it. you have chosen the Golden Deer, led by Claude, correct? Let's go. Your heart has made its Yeah, choice you chose now. my guy. <laughs> All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. I hope you do that. Like, I know I will, but will you? They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. I will, Sata. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? Flynn. No, no, it's nothing. More importantly... That beard. Who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. That's cool. I am Sedith's little sister, Flynn. Flynn. I am so happy okay. to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. I'm assuming Seteth is not going to trust me until some weird war, some huge battle where I protect his life, where I save him, and then he trusts me. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. Sure. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. If your character falls in love with her, he's going to get the FBI to open up. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you really our new homeroom professor? I mean, yeah. Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. What was that? What the fuck is that supposed to mean, cuz? I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Oh, okay. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. What? <laughs> Why are they giving me a choice? I have no choice. It's literally one thing. I don't mind. <laughs> oh, well then. Since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment. Becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. 
I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. The fuck, May? What do you mean he doesn't pay you the professor like he <laughs> I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. You're exaggerating a bit. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. I mean, that's true, Hilda, but you don't have to put it that way. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Yeah, Don't I agree. you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes. I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves Fuck in you, battle. Fuck you, Hilda. <laughs> I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high-quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. That's why I chose no Mercedes meat involved. over you. <laughs> it's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. Uh, We're not especially. Yeah, you can have tea with your students. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? Yay. I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. Terrain effects. Uh, certain terrain will have effects on the unit occupying it. Forests, for instance, raise a unit's evasion and defense. To be continued. <laughs> Move your units to advan advantageous terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. Sure. Oh, shit. We're doing a battle, like, right now? Damn. Like, right now, right now? Oh, okay. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Received 1,000 gold from the Church of Saros as funding for this month's activities. 1,000 gold just for the month? Uh, I mean, the month's almost over. Okay. Say, while you're here... I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you experience. everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But Hilda before one and can dive Lissithea deeply into boxing such match in topic, three months. <laughs> one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They sure. are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Right. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boobs. <laughs> Each crest has its oh. own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. Mercedes or For now. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect. I mean, you much. are the protagonist. Yes, but we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Sure, do what you can. 
Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. That sounds away. painful, Doc, and you said it wouldn't hurt. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! Ahem, <clears throat> pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so it's a jigsaw very puzzle. much more research. <laughs> but for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Right. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. The monastery schedule features different events on different days. Each week you will have one day off, uh, when you may choose an activity from the list. Your only option at first will be to explore. Set the calendar with the directional buttons to view the schedule. Share a meal, gardening, and fishing. Alright, let's see. Alright guys, I think that'll be the end of my stream. Uh, I went a little longer than I thought I would. I would. <laughs> But uh, thank you all so much for coming out. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm, re <laughs> I'm really into this game, man. I can't wait to get into it more. Um... <laughs> to be continued. But yeah, uh, like I said, such a great game. I can't wait. And I can't wait to play more. And yeah, I mean, if anybody's on the fence... Uh, go pick this game up, you know, pick it up If you can I mean if you got the money for it go for it Jotian I said I know you said you don't have a switch I think you should I mean, I don't know if you like strategy RPGs But if you do I would suggest going uh, To pick this game up, bro uh, Quinn says well I'll see you next time. Uh, thank you so much for coming out Quinn. I appreciate that uh, you too, Jotian. For George to grow his beard. <laughs> wait, for, wait until next week for the beard to come back. <laughs> um, but thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, G5 is trash. Thank you very much. Peace.